It's going to be a cold and frigid Christmas Eve as our Chicago Bears take on the Buffalo Bills at Soldier Field. Who's going to win this matchup? Watch this video to find out. What's going on guys? I'm back with another Chicago Bears pregame prediction video which I'll be doing before every single Bears game this year. Subscribe to my thoughts on what's going to happen before each Bears game. Definitely be sure to subscribe to my channel. There's only three games left of the year. Thankfully, okay, because it's been a pretty rough 2022 for our Chicago Bears. We're sitting at three wins, bottom of the NFL, but... The future is looking very, very bright, okay, with our young quarterback ascending, with all the draft capital that we have, with all the cap space we're going to have too. So we're down in the dumps right now, okay, but it's going to be a totally different story after this current offseason happens, okay, after the next offseason actually happens, because I'm assuming the Bears are going to be making a bunch of moves to make this team a lot better, hopefully, okay, so... Stick it out, guys. We're almost through this year. It's almost Christmas, too, which is why I wore this Christmas sweater. Baham Pug. I've been wearing this basically every single Christmas. I should get a Bears one, too. I have to buy one. Um, so if you guys have any recommendations for Bears Christmas sweaters to buy, maybe for next year, you know, leave your recommendations down below because I'd love to buy a Bears one. But I had to wear this. Obviously, we're going to be playing on Christmas Eve. And it's going to be, like I mentioned, a very cold and frigid game because... There's going to be high winds. It's going to be snowing before this game, probably not during the game. I think all the snow is going to come in uh, tonight, Thursday night when I'm recording this, and Friday night too. So the snow should be, you know, hopefully gone by then, but it's going to be very cold, obviously. And all the fans that are going to this game, respect to you guys, okay? Because it's going to be a painful experience being at Frigid Soldier Field. But it's always fun to watch our Chicago Bears being at soldier field so i'm sure you guys will still have fun but just be sure to bundle up okay because it is going to be extremely extremely cold but talking about this game guys obviously we got the buffalo bills who are another title contending team okay we ended up having a very tough schedule this year okay with all the teams that we were facing because now we faced a bunch of really good teams in a row okay first the philadelphia eagles and now the buffalo bills okay sitting at 11 and 3 they have josh allen and an alien at quarterback they have a really good roster overall too and very good coach too and sean mcdermott so obviously a very tough matchup for our rebuilding chicago bears it's going to be very tough again to be even competitive in this game given all the injuries the bears have as well okay i'll read the injury list later on in this video but the bears have so many guys out due to injury too so it is going to be very tough but we have Justin Fields, okay? And Justin Fields is must-watch TV every single week. So regardless of what happens, it's still probably going to be a fun game if Justin Fields does Justin Fields things like he does basically every weekend. But talking about the Bills in more detail, let me briefly talk about their offense. First of all, give you guys some stats about their offense. And they rank number four in points scored per game, number two in yards gain per game, number five, passing offense, number eight, rushing offense. And kind of like the Chicago Bears, their quarterback is the majority of their offense. Okay, Josh Allen carries his Buffalo Bills team on his back because he is the entire Bills offense. He is the run game, the majority of the run game. Okay, he has 700, 705 rushing yards and six rushing touchdowns too. The leading rusher on the Buffalo Bills, obviously, is a big, strong guy. He's built like a linebacker okay so he can plow through you and he chooses to run through people pretty often throughout his NFL career so far so really good runner of the football but really good passer as well okay, he has 3,857 passing yards 30 passing touchdowns and only 11 interceptions on the year so all in all a very efficient quarterback a very dynamic passer okay obviously he has one of the best arms in the league he has the velocity that can make the ball just skyrocket out of his arm and that's going to be very helpful especially in a very cold and windy environment like it will be in this game in Chicago so big play machine on both the ground and through the air and obviously the one downside of this game right now is that he's throwing a lot of interceptions in the red zone so he's been very careless um in many games this year through the red zone um scoring opportunities okay so turning the ball over at the wrong times when they're near the goal line that's one area where the bears could maybe hope to get stops against this bills offense because otherwise it's going to be very tough to stop a quarterback like josh allen and obviously he has a much more help than justin fields does too okay a much better offensive line a much better receiving core too which is why he's been able to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league throughout the last two years he has stefan diggs one of the best route runners in the nfl a guy that can get open down the field a guy that can make the highlight reel catches for you too and be a very consistent playmaker for you um wherever you want to use him okay in the short passing game in the quick passing game or in the deep vertical passing game he can do it all they also have gabriel davis too a very solid number two a guy that i have on my fantasy team and he's been really good a few weeks okay in fantasy he's been very inconsistent though like he goes off for 100 150 yards in one game that has like 20 yards the next game but he still has like 
752 receiving yards on the year. So still a very solid number two option for Josh Allen to throw to. They have Dawson Knox, the tight end. They also have Cole Beasley, too, who they signed recently, I believe. So I'm not sure if he's going to be playing in this game. I believe he should be, right? Like, they want to get him up to speed uh, before the playoffs start. So they might have Cole Beasley, too, in the slot. So a lot of guys for Josh Allen to throw to. It's going to be very difficult for the Bears' defense to stop and contain this explosive Bills offense. But talking about the Bills defense now, they are also very, very good, unfortunately, for the Chicago Bears, okay? They rank number two in points allowed per game, number nine in yards allowed per game, number 18, passing defense, number six, rushing defense. So, you know, even though Von Miller is out, okay, so their best defensive player, Von Miller, obviously is going to be out um, for the rest of the year. He had eight sacks before he went out, so that's definitely going to be a big loss for the Bills passers, but they still have more than enough guys that can get to the quarterback. They still have Gregory Rousseau, the guy that they drafted last year, who has seven sacks on the year. Very explosive, very versatile guy at passenger. They have Ed Oliver on the interior, a guy that can you know wreck the game plan for you if you don't have a good center, which the Bears do not have a good center, obviously. So a bunch of really good guys in the front seven. They have a pretty talented secondary I would say too but they haven't been performing up to standards for the most part this year like they have allowed a lot of big plays going down the field especially you know sometimes late in games so even though they got Tredavious White back the number one corner recently like they still been allowing you know obviously last game against the Dolphins they allowed Tua to you know go off and still have a pretty good stat line now, obviously Tua and the Dolphins offense is much better than our offense is so that doesn't guarantee that our offense is going to have a lot of success against this you know, pretty mediocre Bills pass defense, but that could be one area where we could, you know, hopefully look to attack them because the run defense is pretty damn strong. So that's the Bills talking about the Bears now, their offense. They rank number 19 in points score per game, number 23 in yards game per game, number 32 passing offense, number one rushing offense. And obviously we've had a lot of injuries in the last week. So uh, let me read the list. Okay, so Chase Claypool will not be playing uh, Equinemius Sam Brown also will not be playing. Obviously, Darnell Mooney is out for the year. He's not going to be playing. We also won't have, most likely, Tevin Jenkins in this game, right guard. We also most likely will not have Cody Whiter in this game either, left guard. So it's probably going to be Larry Borum, you know, most likely a left guard, the, the tackle, okay? The guy that has not played guard ever in his career, I believe, in the NFL. And it's going to be uh, Michael Schofield, the veteran at right guard. So a very... You know, shaky offensive line and a very shaky receiving core, too, because we're going to be having Nikhil Harry, who is going to be playing in this game, according to him. Um, Byron Pringle, Dante Pettis, and Nasimba Webster as our top four options for Justin Fields to throw to, which obviously is not ideal, okay? This is a very bad receiving core with a very bad offensive line, too. So I'm definitely worried about Justin Fields and how he's going to do in this game because he has basically nothing to work with, okay? It's going to be, it's going to have to be him carrying the team on his back like he's done basically every single week but to an even higher extent right because we don't even have the receivers like Equinemius St. Brown or or Chase Claypool or Mooney or you know Tevin Jenkins on the offensive line we don't have those guys either now so it's going to be even harder on fields and it just sucks that we've put him in this position where he has to do it all by himself he's probably gonna have to carry the ball a lot and run with the ball a lot because I can't see our offensive line doing too good in this game so hopefully you know we stick with the run game pretty heavily we give the ball to Herbert which Herbert is going to be back for this game officially, so getting Khalil Herbert back is big for the run game. He's been the most efficient runner the Bears have had, besides Justin Fields, obviously. We're going to have Monty, too. Um, so probably going to be a lot of running the football in this game, if I had to guess. But the Bills' defense is pretty good at stopping the run, and they're not that good at stopping the pass. So are we going to see the Bears pass the ball more in this game? Who knows? Okay, I have no idea with how bad the supporting cast is going to be. But lastly, talking about the Bears defense. Okay, number 30 in points allowed per game, number 22 in yards allowed per game, number 15 passing defense, number 27 run defense. And obviously, I want to see if our secondary can build off of their performance from last game because it was pretty damn encouraging to see Kyla Gordon have his best game of the year. Jalen Johnson have one of his best games of the year. Um, Jaquan Brisker play, playing pretty good as well. And obviously, we don't have Eddie Jackson right now. He's injured. But DeAndre Houston Carson did pretty good as the replacement. So good performance last week. But can they keep that up this week again against another very talented thrower of the football in Josh Allen? Another very good receiving duo in 
you know, Stephon Diggs and Gabriel Davis, that's going to be really tough. But if they can do that, if they can continue building, stacking together good performances on top of each other, I'd be really optimistic about next year, okay, going into next year for the Chicago Bears secondary. Obviously, I know the front seven is not good right now. Like, it's not going to magically become good all of a sudden when they've been horrible the entire year. But our secondary definitely has some areas to be optimistic about for the future. But with all that being said, let me get to my score prediction. Who do I have win this matchup? And guys... I have the Chicago Bears going to Soldier Field on Christmas Eve and sadly losing to the Buffalo Bills by a score of 34 to 24. And I say that because it's pretty obvious. I mean, the Bills have the much better roster on paper on both sides of the football. Okay, they have a much better offense. They have a much better defense too. They have an actual front seven that can get to the quarterback unlike us. And, you know, I could be wrong, obviously, because this is the NFL. Anything is possible any given Sunday, any given Saturday, I should say, because this game is played um, on Saturday afternoon, Christmas Eve. And maybe we get a Christmas miracle. Maybe we get like a late season Bills meltdown like they had, you know, last year against the Jags. And that could be possible, but I'm not going to predict that to happen um, given my brain, okay, and what I know because this, te this Bears team is nowhere close to as talented as the Bills right now. But hopefully... You know, we see Justin Fields making some big-time plays, and that's why I do have a scoring 24 still, okay, even though we have so many guys out, because eventually Justin Fields just makes magic happen, and it is going to be tough to score points, because obviously the Bills' defense is pretty good in the red zone. They rank number two in points allowed per game, but against a QB like Justin Fields, okay, it's very hard to contain his legs and what he's doing on the ground, which is why I do think we can score 24, okay, purely because of Fields. So offense MVP, I'm going to be picking Justin Fields. This guy is going to be continuing to put together, you know, good performances um, like he's done the entire year. He's going to be doing that in this game too. Let me predict 150 passing yards, one passing touchdown, um, 85 rushing yards, and a rushing touchdown too, okay? That'll be a pretty good performance against a very good defense with nothing to work with. As for my defense MVP, I'm going to go with Jalen Johnson, the best cornerback that we have and probably the best defensive player that we have on the roster too. Um, hopefully he does a pretty good job against Stephon Diggs, but it will not be enough because the Bills probably still will be scoring 30 plus against this depleted um, front seven and with how bad we have been on the front seven. So let me know what you guys think about this game in the comments down below. Who do you guys think is going to win? Are you going to this game? Let me know down below. I'll be watching this game at home with my family in the warm warmth of my house because i i cannot do that right now okay i don't want to go out there and watch you know three win team in the freezing cold you know i've done that before though like back in 2016 i actually attended the christmas game christmas eve game against the washington redskins at the time okay and we got torched by kirk cousins our quarterback i think was matt barkley for that game and he played terrible he threw like five picks and it was a very cold game i think it was like 15 degrees so i was freezing the entire time and i still had a lot of fun but it's pretty painful going to these late december games but if you're going i hope you have a lot of fun and maybe the bears win okay maybe we see a christmas miracle who knows let me know your thoughts down below guys but as always bear down